Meet Boys Hope Girls Hope Scholars Alex and Olga. Alex, a junior at ASU, majoring in math and sustainability. He's also in the Honors College. I feel like, I feel like when I was little, like the whole idea of college was not, was not a part of our, our future. And my brother, I feel like he set the, he kind of set the standard for us, saying that college is possible, even though my mom is a single mom and making minimum wage. Olga is a senior. She is graduating in May from ASU with a degree in interdisciplinary studies, with an emphasis in nonprofits. I knew college was always an opportunity. When I was in grade school, growing up in my old school, but I never really thought that I could get there. Alex and Olga, inspired, empowered, nurtured, and successful. Both scholars have participated in the Boys Hope, Girls Hope program for the past eight years. Boys Hope, Girls Hope started in 1977, back in St. Louis, Missouri. And um, in 1989, when the Bidwell family moved the Cardinals to Arizona, Mr. Bidwell was on the board of the National Board of Boys Hope, Girls Hope of Arizona. And he really thought Phoenix would be a great place for a boys home. Boys Hope Girls Hope is a college preparatory and life enrichment program that serves academically motivated young people ages 11 to 22 who have significant needs. This is not a school. It's a holistic approach to education with a commitment to helping them find scholarships, funding books and fees, counseling and medical appointments, providing mentors, tutors, funding sports fees, music lessons, summer camps, and much more. Some of the scholars live in our homes. They get a bed, clothes, and meals, but most of all, support from highly qualified house parents. Yeah, you can pick up the Others, with a more stable home life, but still in need of academic and emotional support, join our community-based program in sixth grade. And they all thrive because of the quality education they receive combined with wraparound services provided by Boys Hope Girls Hope. The goal, to prepare them for college education and graduation. And really go with them all the way through, uh, not only graduation of high school, but graduation of college. Um, and it provides that support structure to them through every step of the way. come down here and just watch the Brophy football games. Just walk up here, you know, sit on the ledge, bring a couple snacks and just watch the game. But that was before this was here. A nostalgic moment for Olga as she reminisces about her life in the girls' home before she left for college. People go into these low-income neighborhoods and they say, you know, you can go to college, you can do all this, you can do all these things but they never give you the resources to get there. <sighs> These kids that we get to come into contact with, their circumstances are things most of us can't really imagine. A lot of the places that they're coming from, whether it's, you know, risk of family being deported or parents incarcerated or using drugs or prostitution or things like that, most of us have no idea what, what that would be like. Despite growing up in a tough neighborhood, Olga knew she wanted to go to college. I had, I knew that I could, I could do it, but I didn't have the tools. I didn't have people to give me those opportunities. So if I wouldn't have to come to the Boys Hope, Girls Hope program, I would have had to do all of that by myself. As for Alex, he followed in his brother's footsteps and moved into the boys' home in eighth grade. It allowed him to attend Brophy and get him ready for ASU. I like the, the thing I liked about it was like the brotherhood you make at the house too. Like the guys are like we're all in the same boat. One success story after another has kept Julie Chisholm at Boys Hope Girls Hope for the past 15 years. And I have the amazing opportunity to meet these kids and hear those stories 
and see them like want want to go to Xavier, want to get a brophy and get into those schools. So I see these kids who for really no good reason are being successful and are so motivated. And so you can't help but you can't help but watch those kids and think this is amazing. As an investor in Boys Hope Girls Hope, your investment doesn't impact a child for a day, a week, or a month. It has the capability, the possibility of impacting them throughout their life and impacting not only them, but their family and their community. Take, take for example, um, a program that, that gives out uh, blankets to the homeless, right? A very uh, cause-worthy program um, that touches a lot of different folks in a little way. Our program touches a smaller number of, of scholars and, and children, but in a huge way. It suits you up for success, I feel like. It gives you everything you need. They give you, they give you food, they give you clothes, they give you shelter, they give you, I feel like everything that you possibly need to succeed. I'm so thankful for those opportunities. And I just want kids from neighborhoods that I came from to have those opportunities as well. Your support critically impacts the lives of our scholars. They are empowered to change their individual futures and those of their families and the broader community.